Gary, congratulations. How does it feel that the real Gary Anderson has finally turned up? We've got there, you know, from practice board to there. It's, it's well, tell a lie. Very little practice tonight, and we up on stage, and it, it came good. You know, the, uh, the last twice, good on the practice board, terrible on the stage. So that's the best version we've seen you on the stage for for a while. Yes. Two years, seven months, and thirteen days. About yeah. No, it's, it's it, like it's in the practice board. It's, it's going well. Even Ryan, when we practice with Ryan, you know, Ryan should be like we said the other night. It's, it's good for Ryan. I just want to give him a game, and I, I'm I'm kind of pushing him. I'm not expecting to win, but you know, I'm I'm, I'm pushing Ryan Searle. So to me, I'm playing okay if I'm taking the odd leg here and there. Was it a knockout game against Barney that got the juices flowing? We've got about 107 years up there on stage, and that's just the two of us, not including the markers. But uh, yeah, Barney's been about a long time, you know, so and so have I, so yeah. Looking ahead, Michael Van Gogh and next rivalry renewed. We spoke to him earlier, he said sometimes Gary tries, sometimes he doesn't, he's unpredictable. Does that mean he's worried? Well, I'm asking you, that do you means, think he is? That means he's thinking, doesn't he? But uh, I try not to think, sometimes <laughs> it helps. Uh, but nah, but listen, we'll give it a go. He's a dark player at the end of the day, very good one, you know, but uh, we've had some right battles over the years and hopefully we can do it the same again. I was about to say, you two bring the best out of each other. Some of the classic games we've seen in the last decade involved the pair of you. Decade? I was 40 back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, uh, listen, well, I'm just going to go up there and uh, try playing, you know. If I can go like that for the, the duration of the match, then we'll get a few legs. Sets you up for Minehead as well, your, your home tournament as well. Looking forward to yeah, yeah. this, the Minehead and the Worlds. Yeah, Minehead, and then after Minehead, a few, few nights up in Scotland, which has been a long time. You know, I've done zero exhibitions over the last probably two years, so it'll be nice to get back. And it, it's practice, you know, so the mode I play, it's, it's got to get better, can't get worse. You, you say that it's got to get better, and you, you keep threatening these, these little comebacks. How close is it? And is the desire still there to be the Gary Anderson that won everything? Maybe over the last six weeks, yeah. But up till then, no. No, it's it. I'm trying to explain to people that I don't want to play darts. I'm not interested in that. Just don't want to do it. You know, and like, oh, I can't. And it's, it is hard. When you're, when, when you're speaking to people, say, look, I don't want to do it. Do you want to get up at four o'clock and go and lay a, a load of bricks? No. Well, that's exactly how I feel. But over the last six weeks, back at the Pro Tour Bay, the AD loose and that, we've had a, a right good uh, bit of banter and it's kind of, yeah, I would miss it. The fire's there again. Yeah, getting there, it's getting there. The matches are lit, we'll see. Gary, pleasure. Always felt. Gary, 100% record of getting out of the group at the Grand Slam since 2007, that's some going, isn't it? It's been a few years, isn't it? It has, it's done, I've done all right, you know. Favourite tournament, I've always said that, it was the first tournament I played and I was still in the BDO. I think the first two years I played that I was in the BDO and I think I lost to... Uh, Terry Jenkins and Phil Taylor in the semis, you know, and uh, I was close, but uh, it's always been it. And like I said, the other day, I thought it was funny, the other day we went round uh, the old Civic to have a look. We've got some work to get ready for next year, I'll tell you. <laughs> Love to be back there, but yeah, yeah, it's been a, it's been a long good old haul. Does tonight just affirm to you that your top level is just the flick of a switch away still? A few, a few switches. Uh, a few, I think uh, we're getting there. When it goes good, it goes good. Uh, and when it's bad, it's really bad. Whereas before, good was good, bad was still 97, 98, 99 average. But it's, it's, it's kind of well off now. But uh, now nah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Unfortunately, boys, I'm going to be about for a few years longer. MVG next. Is that still the game that really gets your juices flowing? Well, I'll see. You? I might get up there and give it big licks, and I might get the, the right cheese on and uh, stick it to him. We'll see. Cheers, Gary. Thank you. Okay, Gary, was there actually motivation tonight with playing Barney? And do you think that that motivation would be there tomorrow uh, on Thursday? Well, it's got to be. I'm, I'm going home. <laughs> you know, t I'm, to be honest, tonight was a win-win. You know, if I got beat, I was going home. If I won, I stay on through to the next round. So the way I look at it now, it's doesn't matter what happens. It's a win-win. Mm. You know, you go through, you go home. To me, that's it's 50-50. You know, so yeah, either way, I'd be happy. You mentioned your little walk around the, the Civic Hall, not convinced that we'll be there back, back next year. It's a lot of work to get done. It looks good, it looks good, but uh, nah, there's a lot of workers still kicking about there. <laughs> I like it, I mean, Civic Hall was... It, it's funny, you get places, you've, you've got the World Championships, Ali Pali, it's got to be there, can't be anywhere else. You know, you've got Dublin, can't be anywhere else. You know, Blackpool, 
can't be anywhere else, and it's the same with this place. You know, the the Grand Slam of Darts is Wolverhampton, and, uh, and that's it. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, Gary.